Uh, in the name of Allah, welcome to a new session. Today's session will speak PHP numbers. So, uh, in last session, we talked about PHP strengths. So, anyone of you, please, what's strength? Sequence of characters. So, how we can use SQL the strengths, Ibrahim? Yeah. As data type, yeah, we know it's data type. How we can use it? When we have a did variable, that's the values surrounded with single quotes and double quotes. As Nurullah described in the whiteboard this string is sequence of characters can be surrounded with single quotes or double quotes and there was a difference between single quotes and double quotes that the single quotes doesn't do special characters and also operations calculations and string values but when we are using double quotations we can get data type value the variable values and also we do special operations on the and also special characters Use, if we are using double quotation and string. So, after what today we are speaking PHP numbers. PHP numbers. So, as we said that in PHP data types, we don't have data typing specific data typing in PHP as PHP is a loosely typed language. So, but we have different type of numbers. As we had types of strings, now we have different types of numbers. So, to introduce us as we speak about the three types or four types of numbers the strings the integers the floats the infinity numbers and number strings in string lessons we will set a discussion that if a number is inside double quotation or single quotation it's a number string we can do arithmetic operations on that all calculations on that so we have a number string which is not available on other c based language but is available in php so PHP numbers are generally in three types. Generally, in three main types. The integers, the floats, the number strings. But in PHP, we have to type two more types. One is the infinity and one is undefined or none. One is infinity number and another is a non-defined or undefined as we had in JavaScript. So, but in main, we have three main number types the integers which is flow where the whole numbers without any decimal points the floating points or numbers with decimal points and number strings the numbers that comes inside double quotations alone not with other strings they are they come alone inside double quotations so and the two more types we have this infinity and not or non-defined so what are these so how we can know what, which one is the strength, the integer, the number string, and the float. When a number has no decimal points, it's an integer. Has no decimal points, it's an integer. When a number has decimal points, or it has a precision point, it has, it's floating numbers. But when a number comes in a double quotation or as a string, it's a number string. We can do calculations as we do in these two, the float and integers. You can do also in the number strings. As we said in previous sessions, how we can notice, we can use the word dump. So that's common, I think, and repeated many times. We won't go on them. So, what are PHP integers? The numbers, the positive and negative numbers that they don't have at decimal points. Or that an integer without any decimal port, as example 2, 256, minus 200, 256, or other numbers, all this positive or negative, four bytes of number, four bytes of numbers, four bytes equal to 64 binary points, binary bits. So, how we can get up to 64 bits on decimal? Or 64 ones in types of binary. So, 
An integer data type is non-decimal number between minus this number and positive this number in 32-bit systems and between this one and this number in 64-bit systems. One we have the 4 and other we have in 6 bits. That's bit but we have byte, 4 and 8 bytes. One we had in Java, the long integer or the other is integer simply. We had some extensions on that long short or long long integer or short integer or short short integer and this will for exceeding or increasing and decreasing the size of integer so we have in two bits two bits and 64 bits that's four bytes and eight bytes four bytes and eight bytes in case of bytes but in case of bits we have the two bit and 64 bits and and also we can have a lower of them that's not the restricted version we can have lowers but not more than 64 bits we can have lower them the minus and the positive also and the ideas and note that is another important thing to know is that even four multiplied by 2.5 is 10 the result is stored as a float because one of the operands float in case of operations when we do if in both side of our operand there's two integers two numbers this is integer but when they are the one of our operands or floating numbers would so have a decimal points the output even be a whole number that's stored as a float as example it says 4 multiplied by 2.5 is 10 10 is an integer as we know yeah but it will store as a float why is it sort of flows? Because it comes a combination of two integer and floating numbers. So in case of this, it stores as a float number. Even it shows 10 without any decimal points. But it will store as a float. Why? Because one of our operand is float. 2.5 is a floating number. So when there is a float number in our operation or calculations, our output also will store as a float, not as an integer. If one of our operands is a float number, so some rules for integers. An integer must have at least one digit. An integer must have at least one digit. One, two, three, four, five. An integer must not have a decimal point. As we said, integer is a whole number, so it must not have a floating point number or decimal point. An integer can be either positive or negative. It's not unsign it, it's sign it. So sign it and unsign it. We have two types of numbers in general. One is sign it, another is unsign it. When we are using an unsign it in restrict type language like Java, when we define an unsign it in data type of integer, it will not take the, the negative one. But generally numbers are sign it. If you are not assigning this as an assign it. So in Java, we have we are allowed to make it accept negative numbers or not when we need to limit or our integers to accept only positive numbers then we can use unsign it on a strict type of language like java c plus plus and others but in php as it's loosely typed we can't do generally our numbers can sign it and they can be positive or negative Integers can be in specific three formats decimal base 10 is decimal base 16 predefined it so prefix it with 0x octal base 8 prefix it with 0 and binary base 2 prefix it with 0b We can have in four formats one is decimal our language another is the hexadecimal with base 16 and they have an, a prefix of 0x and other is octal with base of 8 and they come with prefix of 0 and another is the binary format base 2 they come with prefix of 0 b when we see these numbers you must know they are the integers but in different bases when you are programming and or you are reading some code of some program and you face a number with these formats starting with 0 x 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 you must know this is an integer and have the prefix of 16 base or base 16 hexadecimal or with start with 0 or start with 0b 
That means they are in different bases. And in PHP, we have constants that shows our largest supported number, smallest supported number, and the size of an integer for showing them. We have the constants that they are predefined and counts built in in PHP. If you use this constants on your code, it will show the maximum number of an integer support. The PHP int main will show you the smallest number supported by integer and the PHP int size, it will display the size of your PHP, the integer in bytes. That counts in 4 bytes and 8 bytes. And PHP has the following functions to check if a type of a variable is integer. And also you can check if a variable is integer or not with this function as int as integer as long they are these two as also allows of the integer so this as, as integer this functions for checking if a number is integer or not if you want to check if a number is integer or not welcome on practical on this so how you can check you can have a variable then you can do var dump and check the number if it's the variable if it's integer or not or you can do if it's long or not long is integer long or whatever but the functions are just checking for if the, the variable has integer value they are just for checking if a variable is an integer or not you can check it let's open our zomp i forgot to open zomp before recording so, any points up to this? Nothing? Holy. You can install it right now. So, yeah. Format. Format. So let's examine this. Now we need to comment this part of our code as comes from our last session. Now we want to write the new code. The new code is that we need a variable, that variable like x or something else, and we need to put some numbers on this. Then we do a var dump. Var dump. So one question before seeing this. How do you think what what will be the output of this function? What will be the output of this as int function? Anyone? No. You others? Yeah, here. What will be the output of this? Value of what? That function is as int. We said it's for checking if our variable is integer or not and returns true or false only, nothing else. It will true return true or false. Why? Because we are checking if it's variable or our variable is true or not. Said that bool true. Now, even our function is the variable is integer. Vardam will know the as int as a bool y, it will return a true or false if our number is integer or not. So now our number is integer is returned true. But if we change this one, now it will return to false. Let me put some decimal points on this. Now it says false. The variables <coughs> the variable is integer or float. Yeah, but the Vardam knows the output from this function. This function returns true or false. So true, true or false comes from Boolean or data type. Even our data type is float or not. But if you are doing Vardam without this, it will return our data type. It will return our data type. Why? Because we are not checking for true or false. It will return our data type. That's float 456.4 and 5. 
and also you can use this to check if what function <coughs> what's the maximum number for you can do this the what's the number for maximum number for integer it says the maximum number for integer is this one can you read this number I bet you can't so and also you can do the mean the mean that's constant that counts from PHP itself it's defined it somewhere else it's defined it in here and PHP and main dot PHP and says the smallest integer supported in this built of PHP usually integer this one values not documented values not document constant is defined it here constant is defined it here and comes from integer so and we are using it directly in our code without defining a value or defining it from zero now this is the minus that number which was the maximum was in positive form the smallest one is or the minimum is in minus form the negative form another is the php integer size you can check the size of your integer so what do you think what will be the output size of integer yeah we said it will display in bytes how many bytes do you think it will return 64 bytes that was 64 bits not 64 bytes so 64 bits is for 8 bytes yeah as 8 bits is 1 byte 8 bits is 1 byte 64 bits is 8 bytes see now it says the return is 8 64 is the divided to 8 why because 8 bit is 1 byte 8 binary numbers will make the 1 byte that is 128 or 127 the maximum number so this was the php numbers constants for max mean and also the functions for checking if a variable has an integer value or directly you can put number in a set of variable to check if, if the number is integer or not and you can use it what one of them is int is integer is long as long will show if it has an 8 byte but this one will display them in 4 bytes in 32 bit 32 bit as of this chapter so another is php floats float is <coughs> again the same thing as integer but has a decimal points but it has decimal points so and the same things we have in floating number but it's in decimal form the integer was in whole number form without decimal points we have float main float max float deck so there is a that was float size and also you have with two different things what's float deck float deck the number of decimal digits that can be rounded into a float and back without precision loss it will show the maximum decimal points float deck will show the maximum floating points float let me do this deck float deck it will show us the maximum floating points that a float accepts so that's the it will accept 15 decimal points how i can use this one 1.1234567891 1 10 11 12 13 so i think it will be enough for this up to this numbers 9 10 11 13 12 13 14 15 this much floating points but not more than this it will accept maximum 15 floating point numbers another speech float epsilon the smallest representable positive number x so that x is 1.0 not 1.0 so let's see how it what will it display for us that is the epsilon epsilon in mathematics, do you know what's epsilon? We have epsilon in mathematics also. 
so the money mames this one it will display the value of e if you know the epsilon is the e yeah in mathematics we have one pi another is epsilon another is zeta or something else i think i'm not mathematician so i don't know but i remember we had pi e and gamma and ball phi they have values the variables that they have values so let's go ahead and finish the numbers and also you can check as flow to a double then the new thing is in php php infinity and others we didn't have been infinity so infinity what's infinity abdul ahmad infinity is something that has no ending something that has no ending so a numeric value that's larger than the float max is considered infinite a numeric value that is larger than php float max is considered infinite a number that is max the a value is larger than the float max not the integer max so php has the following functions to check if a number of values is infinite or infinite finite or infinite is finite or is infinite how you check you can put a number like this let me copy this only the number and copy it here we have x already so this is the number which type of number this is any one of you this is a number which type of number this is we have an e in here that's a float a float with max numbers so let's test what will be the output refresh the output is n finite the output is n finite why n finite because that is the non an exponential of 411 we have powers in english yeah but in mathematics we have exponential so that's an 1.9 and power of 401 411 so it's the more more than the max size of float number so in this case it's a infinite number we have to type with finite and fi infinite finite limit it's lower lower than the max float size but infinite is larger than the max float size and also we have a php none none stands for not a number not a number none is used for impossible mathematical operations None is used for impossible mathematical operations. What's impossible mathematical functions? The functions or operations that they don't have any output. They don't have an output. That means that it's not a logical operation. We can do like divide to zero or something else to my that they don't have a logical output and a logical operation that's all impossible so we have as non function we can check it so like this <coughs> a cosine 8 what's a cosine arc cosine you know yes. cosine the reverse of sine and cosine that x has a value of a cosine 8 so it's an arc cosine of 8 so it will return it will return what it will return the none why none we don't have the arc cosine of eight or the value must be negative i don't know the mathematics so that says a none let's change this to a negative number i don't know mathematics again it will return a none value i think this something else of cosine and the other is numerical strength 
numeric numerical things in last session of series. If a number comes inside double quotations. If a number comes inside double quotations. So the case thing will come on next lesson. Please practice this, work on this, and if you don't practice, you won't learn. Practice is the key, not only lectures or video recorders. The practice is the key. Thank you.